Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a review of the Brother MFC495CW inkjet printer. Now the reason I'm doing a review of this particular item right now is because on my vlog I had a whole bunch of different items that I could review, such as like uh, this mouse pad and whatnot. Uh, oh, this mouse pad and my flip minnow, which is right her. And uh, <laughs> I asked the, uh, the people that watch my vlog whether or not they wanted me to review this, this, or this, and they said they wanted the printer. So, just another advantage to watching my vlog is you get a little bit of say so over what I actually do a review on. But uh, onto the actual printer, I got this printer about a month, month and a half ago, and I've been using it ever since. And uh, I, I hate printers, I despise printers. Anybody that's a network administrator or uses computers and printers a lot know that printers are evil, maniacal bastards and that they almost never work properly for more than two to three weeks at a time when they're under heavy usage. They're, the print cache will try to delete something and it just won't or it'll... It, they, they almost... <laughs> anybody that's really used printers a lot can vouch for me in saying that they, they're terrible most of the time. And this printer, on the other hand, I got it on recommendation by my friend Dave, who has this uh, and has used this printer for about a year and a half. And then uh, he also uh, recommended it to his friend, and he got one. And both of them were floored by how amazing of a printer it is. And I needed one because both of my other Lexmark printers, one couldn't print and one couldn't scan. So I was like, screw it, I'm buying this printer. Uh, and this is a printer, scanner, faxer, copier. The top of it opens up to reveal a bed, and uh, this is just some random piece of paper I was scanning recently. Uh, big, wide open scanner uh, that drops down. This right here opens up to see the cover uh, inside of it where you can actually uh, see the paper coming through. Drop this back down. Uh, the controls on it are very, very easy. Uh, it's got an actual angleable LCD screen on the right here. That uh, This is the little screen and it displays the time. And over here is the fax, scan, copy, and photo capture button. So you can just press the, the uh, scan, or in this case the fax button. Let's go with scan. You press scan and it says scan to email, scan to image, scan to OCR, and scan to file. So if I want to scan to image, I go down and I press the OK button, which is just off the shot over here. And then uh, it selects the PCs that have the Brother software installed on them, which in this case is Carl PC, the PC I'm right next to. Press OK. And then it wants you to press Start, which in this case over here, there is two Start buttons. One is color and one is black and white. So if you want it to be in color, you press this button. If you want it to be in black and white, you press that button. Incredibly straightforward. Now another thing that's great about this printer and what makes it so intuitive and really, really easy uh, is it's a wireless printer. It does uh, 802.11g straight through the air. And I literally have one cable going into this printer, and that is the power cable. You don't need to connect it to any computer through USB. You don't need to connect it to any computer through Ethernet. You don't need to connect it to a switch and set up the crap along the Internet. All you do is either put in the, the disk that comes with the printer and just click Go, and it'll install everything, or go to Brother's website, download, and install it. And then uh, it just works. Then when you go in, like, uh, like I did earlier, when you go down to like, scan image, it'll tell you the name of the PC. In this case, it's attached to my mother's PC, which is downstairs, and then it's also attached to my PC, which is right over here. Now, um, due to the fact that it's wireless, uh, you know, somebody with a laptop that's coming in and out of the house, so if they want to print, they don't have to, like, send files over to another computer or hook up to the actual printer itself. It's really good. Really good. I love that about this printer. I, I don't even have to attach it to my computer. Now, as for the paper tray, this is the paper tray right here, which is currently empty, but uh, it's a kind of small capacity, so if you're printing hundreds and hundreds of pages a day, I wouldn't suggest this printer, because it only holds, I believe, 100 sheets at a time, 
but really you can only put in like 75 without getting a really tight squeeze. You just open up the top of this, slide the paper in, close it, and it's got it's got like 58 sliders on it to designate the exact size of the paper and everything like that. And then uh, there's also this little flip out spot that will stop the paper. The bottom of it, the paper feeds in, goes through, and then comes right back out on top. So all of it goes right through this. And then it just slides right back in. Now, another problem that most of you that have ever actually used a printer have come in contact with is, let's see if I can get this in the oh, wrong way. Ah, go down. <laughs> Most of you that have ever used a printer will realize that uh, ink is a terrible thing because the printer, oh no, I am on the wrong side. Look at that. That uh, the printer costs, you know, um, $75, and a new thing of ink costs 50 bucks. So on some printers, it's actually cheaper to buy a whole new printer that comes with new ink than it is to buy the ink for the damn printer. So here is the ink cartridges and uh, these are uh, the, the newer kind of laser, or not, wouldn't say newer, but they're the better kind. Stop beeping. I know I took out the ink, damn it. Uh, there are the brother ink cartridges, which this is the black cartridge, and then, and then there's a yellow cartridge, a uh, cayenne cartridge, and a magenta cartridge. It's gonna blink at me every time I take one out. Uh, and you notice that the black cartridge is bigger than the others because you use black a little bit more. Now, uh, yellow cayenne and magenta can be mixed together to make any other color that you might need. And they just slide in and click right in place really, really easily. Now, as I was saying, ink is really expensive on most printers, but uh, not so much on this printer. You see that huge stack of, uh, of boxes here? Each one of these boxes, if I open it up and they don't all fall over and kill me or something, holds one of those ink cartridges in it. Now these are not OEM ink cartridges, so if you're one of those people that demands buying brand for brand, you, you wouldn't be able to get this deal. But I got nine ink cartridges, three blacks, two cayennes, two yellows, and two magentas off Amazon for nine dollars and like a dollar fifty shipping. And uh, the guy I was telling you about who recommended this to me, Dave, he's been using the, uh, the cartridges that came with the printer for a year and a half, and they're not even halfway empty. Um, and I've been using this for a month and a half, and I haven't even gotten close to killing them. So uh, you're not going to need to worry about spending $63,000 on ink if you buy this printer. Now as for the actual specs of this printer, it is a color inkjet, as I said earlier. It, uh, it can print in black up to 35 pages per minute, which is a page every two seconds, actually less than that. And in color, it can print uh, at up to 28 pages per minute, which is almost a page every two seconds. Um, the color quality of uh, both color, uh, black and white or color, is 6,000 by 1,200 DPI, and uh, it can do in a, a max duty cycle of 2,500 pages and that's like before it runs out of ink uh, on average. Uh, when it's copying, it can copy in black at 23 copies per minute and it can copy in color at 20 copies per minute. The scan resolution is 19,200 by 19,200 DPI. Uh, it has 36-bit scanning technology as in, uh, the color quality that it scans at will not be viewable on your monitor. Uh, it can color fax, and it can fax three, uh, a page every three seconds. And the fax memory on it is 480 pages. So you can put in, uh, up here, which th this is actually the fax tray, you put in the paper and it brings it in. Uh, it can hold up to 480 pages to fax on. And, uh, for actual faxing over here, there is a uh, in and out phone wire plug. But uh, as for the scanning on it, as, as I went into earlier, you just open it up, you put on something like, let's see here, here's some sheet from one of my English classes. You put this down on it, you close it, you press scan, and then you go scan to image, okay, pick my computer, okay, start in color, 
and it'll connect to the PC wirelessly and it'll actually pop up on the PC in paint. Now if we go over to my computer here on my incredibly dirty desk and zoom in on the correct monitor, uh, you'll see a little progress bar right there along with the new egg page for this printer so I don't get my numbers wrong. And there it is. It is a huge, huge page. Uh, so I actually need to zoom out here. And you'll see right here is the paper. And you can zoom in on, you know, individual words. And they're all in, you know, really nice quality. So anybody that's looking for a pretty cheap printer to do uh, what you need for, uh, like, homework and uh, light printing, I wouldn't recommend this for a company or a small business because if you need to print a lot it doesn't have a very high page capacity so you're going to be needing to put new paper in like every day or every other day or even multiple times a day depending upon it uh, but it is a very very nice camera for a uh, camera wow a <laughs> printer for home use and I would recommend it to anybody for light printing um, it also has a USB port right here so you can actually plug in uh, a flash drive and scan pictures in JPEG format straight to the flash drive. It has a SD slot and another memory card slot right here, which I'm says CF. I'm not familiar with that brand or type or whatever, um, but I can definitely do everything you need to throw at it in a light environment phenomenally well, and it looks really good. And it's really small considering all that it can do. So uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Please be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and click right here to check out my vlog like I said you get a kind of like a micro review like um, on my on my mouse pad I did a I did a micro review of this and I actually did a size comparison of the uh, the Goliathus uh, Omega to the Goliathus to the Goliathus Alpha in my last vlog but uh, yeah so a whole bunch of advantages and you get to watch my friends and I like throw tomatoes at each other while we attempt to eat Burger King on camera <laughs> so thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you all later